And now, on Adobe Radio, it's the Brett Davern Show, featuring Katie LeClaire. Streaming live, weekday mornings, 9 Pacific, noon Eastern. On Adobe.com and the Adobe app for iOS. This meeting is being yep. recorded. Yep, 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 yep
Here's oh, why. No, let no. me explain. Stop. Let me explain. Oh, I, no. I said you have to let me keep talking. Listen, here's why. Do you remember there was a day, I think it was like very, very early pandemic, where Nathan Cress and I and then the guy from Disney Channel or the other, who's the other guy? His buddy. Yeah, yeah. Yep. We're supposed to know. He's famous. We should know this Dude, guy. Dude, you're right. I should know. But I'm so bad with names that like. He's such a nice guy. He's come on the show so several nice. times. Drew? Oh, man. Drew? Really sweetheart of a guy. No. Anyway. Okay. Other other famous child uh, guy, but now it continues to act and is a fine gentleman. I don't know. Anyway, the three of us were like. Are you talking about the YouTuber or the. Oh, no. The Disney guy. Yeah, yeah. He yeah, was yeah, on yeah, a show. Yeah, yeah, I just yeah. don't remember the show or anything. I don't either. Yeah. I tried to move past this All right, while fine. ago. So tell me what the your point is. Is gamer that name Nathan's is Jake idea? Rizzotti. Well, because Nathan's idea was like, "Hey, we could help promote radioactive dads." Don't talk about podcasts on other podcasts, but we could help promote our dad podcast by because during the pandemic, everyone shut in or you know whatever. And he was like, "It's a popular thing to like go on video games and people watch you play." Or I don't know some. So you guys like did Gen a little stream Z, thing. BS, I don't know. Whatever he's talking about, you know? And I was like, okay, I'll get on there. And I thought it'd be funny to join as Jake a funny Rizzotti. name instead of, yeah. But what I didn't realize is that you can really only kind of set it once and then they, they like charge you money to change it and start or something. I don't know. How much money? I don't even remember. Or that it's like a cringy. cluster F to change it. Listen I don't know. Listen to me, Brett Davern, Jake Rosati. That I is know. cringy it's stupid. enough. I know. That there's a pretty high threshold for how much money I would pay to change that. I know. That's awful. I know. But then also, here's the thing. <laughs> it kind of does make me laugh though in some sort of weird way if like someone just does know out there then that kind of just makes me laugh that's pretty funny yeah it's funny but also because i just thought i was being funny did nathan make his I should go freddie and benson try to see or could... whatever his last you know is? actually what makes it worse is that my whole remember my kid broke my yeah, stuff so i can't even get in there and change it back or anything <laughs> freaking jerk on the thing <laughs> Oh, boy. This is life, guys. Welcome to the life podcast <laughs> show. Show. Life show. You got, like, the ring of death thing happening on the Xbox? <sighs> you should just, like, take it apart. Sell it for parts. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's actually worse than that. R the dreaded ring of death. It, it just, it powers on, so it glows green. Mm -hmm. The whole screen comes on. It goes, and then it all goes black. Oh. And then it just goes off. Without going red. At least red means the power's on. Red means bad. Yeah. If I was me in high school or just after, I'd probably try to take it apart and fix it. Or take it to one of my older cousins who knew a guy. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Those were the days. If it was me. Hey, man, do you got a modded PlayStation? I yeah, my would cousin knows a guy. for sure change my name. <laughs> Well, I don't play it that often. What is this song? Any gamers in here? <laughs> the song is called uh, Summer Clothes. It's by The Wonder Years. Turn it up. ballad morning this morning. That's cool. Slow it down and then we'll speed it up. And be back with Katie LeClaire doing the news. Show. Let's hear what's going on in the world with producer Katie. Have you ever been LeClaire. gaming, Brett? <laughs> Almost got you. Come on. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> Almost. You wanted to be annoyed. I know, but I didn't. I, I didn't do it. But the timing was pretty good. Uh, you know what else the timing is right for? But Me to tell you about ExpressVPN. Listen up, all you gamers. Any gamers in here? <laughs> If you guys are going online, and I know you are, who isn't online these days, you need to be using a VPN, and we do around here. I do at the compound, and the only VPN we would ever use is ExpressVPN. Uh, you know about the privacy and security that you get online with them. They don't record your history. They don't sell it to anybody. It's not like those other internet scoundrels out mm. there. Um but also what you get with ExpressVPN is the streamers and stuff don't know where you're coming from. Mm -hmm. 
so you can watch whatever you want. Mm-hmm. You can be watching Friends on UK Netflix, which isn't on American Netflix. Like, maybe you're just wanting to get the feels. I mean, could I be any more emotional right now? <laughs> when I'm watching Friends in the UK? Mm. Could it be any more tragic? Could I be any more sad? <laughs> Use ExpressVPN so that you can watch that show yeah. and get the feels. How about Parks and Rec? That's on UK Netflix. Uh, Vikings is on Canadian Netflix, A. Eh? That makes sense. Um, I'm actually wa- I, I am watching The Office on UK Netflix because it is the greatest show of all time. Maybe. One of the top five, anyway. Um, you guys need a VPN to be doing it. Use our friends, ExpressVPN. If you want to get access to hundreds of new shows, use my link right now, expressvpn.com slash Brett, and you can get an extra three months free of ExpressVPN for free. Free, 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 free. Mm, I think I read that wrong, but... Uh... We'll clean it up in post. That's expressvpn.com slash Brett, E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N dot com slash Brett, expressvpn.com slash Brett to learn more. Now the news, Katie. Take it away. You ever been gaming and then somebody crunches a Dorito in your headpiece? Any gamers in here? And you hear the crunch, crunch, crinkle, crunch of somebody snacking rather than the of your own... Maniacal gaming. Uh, did you say headpiece? Headphones? Headset? Mm, Headphones? I don't know what I said. Headpiece? But. Okay. Yeah, that's all right. We'll let it slide. Um, <laughs> uh, I, uh, maybe a time or two. Not really. 33% of U.S. gamers say they are distracted by other people's crunching. Oh, man. Mute. Hey, bro, come on, dude. Mute your mic, man. In Portugal and Spain... Oh, come on. Somebody mute this guy. 68 and 64% of players, respectively, say that chips create the worst noise while gaming. Um, the worst part of online gaming is anyone talking while online gaming. It doesn't even matter what they're talking about. It doesn't matter what What about the crunchification? No. The, the worst part is that their Anyone thought you needed open. headphones and a headset to game online? I don't need it at all. I, I go into the settings every time. I say mute everybody. I don't even want to know if they're talking. I don't care. If, 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 if the enemy is coming around the corner, I'll find that out when they stab me in the back. It doesn't matter. I'm fine. Though I don't want to hear you. I don't want to hear whatever. You, Katie, it's a weird world out there. Uh, like eight-year-olds being racist. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, or or just people playing like weird audio clips over their mics and weird stuff. Like it's just a strange. Weird. Yeah. I don't want anything to do with any of that. Uh, so when you play video games, you obviously don't play that much. But when you do, if you do, you don't you don't have any sound. Mm, I mean, not, there's not. Uh, no, nah, there's not really people talking and stuff. No. And if there what? are, I go in and mute them. And then, obviously, when you, like, played with Nathan, then, like, you were playing. <laughs> like, a guy and, will like, talk in the, in the load screen. A guy will be like, hey, who's ready to do this? And I just go, duh, 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 mute. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> well, because I'm not wearing a headset anyway. I'm just sitting at home on my couch. Right. So I'm just hearing people's voices. I can't even talk back if I wanted to. When you played with Nathan, you weren't, like, talking to him? Oh, that, well, yeah, that time I was just because we were doing a thing. But uh. um, if I just am, like, at home at night, I just grab the controller and play. I don't want to put on a headset. <laughs> hey, how's everyone doing tonight in here? <laughs> the thought of that makes me laugh. <laughs> hey, what's up, everybody? <laughs> I'm Jake Rosati. <laughs> 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 okay. Okay, that's good. Uh, well, so listen. So, so this isn't maybe an issue for you. Fine. Okay, fine. Uh-huh. However, PepsiCo, yeah. which is the company that owns Doritos, yeah. has made this crunch cancellation, crunch <laughs> cancellation oh, software. Man. Katie's doing the corporate news again. That. <sighs> <laughs> That's what news is. All right, all right. I'm just kidding. All right, go ahead. 
Uh, anyway, so, okay, listen. They, they it's used, like a cough button? No. Developers used AI to analyze 5,000 different crunching sounds. <laughs> This software can detect and silence the crunching sounds without stifling the gamer's voice. Is is one of them um is one of those sounds the sound of a gamer being run over by a truck <laughs> while gaming? Would I be able to hear that or would it delete that and then I wouldn't know to call for help for my friend. That'd be a problem. <laughs> that would be a problem. <laughs> Uh, What's weird about this is everything, <laughs> everything. The fact that people can't stop eating into a microphone while I mean, they're talking Katie, too. Like, on. are you serious, Katie? When I was a kid, my mom at one point was like, "Hey, here's how to talk on a phone." And at one point, she was saying, "Brett, you're chewing right into Grandma's ear. She can hear you." And then I went, "Oh, I didn't realize that." Yeah. And then I realized that probably doing that while like, so if you make a phone call, which I know people don't do anymore out there, but like, but if they you do, do you just online, start they game. Like, hey, how's it going? I'm just kind of, hey, what's up? Um, I just need to make the doctor. Like, no, you, you just, you know, you talk for, like, hey, people, you have a microphone in front of your face. Stop, you know, whatever. Well, listen, if you're eating Doritos specifically, mm -hmm. you don't have to worry about it anymore. Oh, okay, good. Apparently. Fantastic. However, what I was going to say is what's weird about this. Is that PC Gamer, which I guess is like a, I don't know, like a magazine or something, website, yeah. tested the technology and they said that it did isolate, the, I don't understand this, Brett, help me understand this. The technology did isolate the Doritos sounds, yeah. crunches, yeah. but quote, it failed to keep up with similar snacks. Yeah. I'm sorry. Are they trying to tell me that a Dorito crunch sounds different than a Tostito crunch? And we've finally done it, everyone. We've cracked the code. I've finally done it. Guy comes running down the hallway. Papers streaming behind him. I've done it. I found the sound of a Dorito. How is a Dorito different than a Frito? Dude, quit tripping me out, man. Okay. I'm just asking questions. Not on a Tuesday, Katie. Not on a Tuesday. Just asking questions. Not on a Tuesday. Okay. No more questions on Tuesdays. <laughs> just you out here asking. Here first. I'm just asking questions. No, don't do it like that. <laughs> <laughs> that one gives me the chills in my spine. And viewers are wondering. No, stop it. Why is a Dorito no. different sounding than a Frito? Oh, I hate it. I'm just asking questions. Do your These McConnell. are the questions that I want to know. Do Mitch McConnell so I can oh. stop. <laughs> oh, Tucker. I don't know, Tucker. You ever had a Funyun? <laughs> oh, Funyuns are my favorite. <laughs> I had a Funyun the other... <laughs> that's, that's the new impression. Yeah, that's good. Uh, this song is called Dead Zone. Turn it up. We'll be right back with some more fun. It's alive. What do you want to do? What do you want to do? What do you got? Fast food news for us? I got some news. You got more news? I got some more oh, news. Oh, man. News heavy day. What's going on in the world of uh, Subway sandwiches? <laughs> do you like Subway? Uh, what's going on in the world of... You got a Panera Bread for us? What do you got over there? What do you got? Oh, that's funny. Do you have a Panera Bread story? What do you got over there for us? I, I'm obsessed with Panera Bread right now because I really want... Um, oh, well, there's that. I really want the um, Cinnamon Crunch Bagel. I've wanted it for <laughs> <Okay>. weeks. <laughs> I really want one. I really want one. Like, really what? bad. I want a Cinnamon Crunch. Is this a real thing? Yes. What are you talking about? <sighs> Panera has a bagel. It's a cinnamon crunch bagel. It has cinnamon ch chunks on the inside, but then also it has a crunchy cinnamon sugar topping. You slice it. They toast it. You put butter all over it. Are you doing a live it. read for Panera no, right now? I'm telling you about a internal struggle that I have been dealing with. What? This conflict for weeks. 
Do they only come out with it a certain time of year? No, I just, I just. Did you drive past a big poster of one? No, I did. It, it did you have a dream about this? Brain. Yeah, like it struck my brain and like I'm, uh-huh. I'm obsessed, but I haven't had one yet. And I don't know why. Like, I feel like I'm like kind of torturing myself for some reason. Like, I don't understand why I don't just go freaking to Panera and get one. But I really want a <laughs> <laughs> crutch bagel. <laughs> this is a very specific problem. Wow. I mean, this I also like, I really, like sorry, I'm going to keep going. Rectified. I really want it to come on a circular plastic tray with a brown paper that is. Well, like, yeah, that's Panera. That's how I want it to come. I think that's what they do there. So I don't want it to go. That's what I'm saying. I want it. You want to eat it at Panera? No, I don't want to eat. That's part of the problem is, but I want the experience of that delivery. Because you, because the only way it tastes delicious is when you can also hear people asking for the bathroom code. Oh my God. There's like some weird sense memory about the, specifically the Panera on Ventura and. <laughs> oh, wow. And Laurel Canyon. <laughs> and somebody being like, hey, can I get the bathroom code, please? Brett, I can't explain this weird fascination that is in my brain but seriously like maybe I it's the microchip has finally been activated i don't I, i'm like manchurian candidate activated like is it fall Panera time bread! was like, it is it the changing of the temperatures and uh the leaves slowly rustling maybe, by in the wind maybe i went to watch football with some friends in like santa clarita like three weeks ago maybe yeah that'll probably do it and on the drive there <laughs> i was like 19 Paneras. i don't maybe that's what it was on the drive there i was like oh that sounds really good yeah and then, and it started small, Brett. Oh, wow. <laughs> this, this urge st- started small <laughs> and it's just grown. Do you or someone you know have an urge for Panera? It started to take over. Ask but your I don't, doctor today. I don't want to go to Panera. That's the problem. But I just want the bagel, but I want it to be delivered on the plastic tray. Like, I want somebody to, like, get it delivered to them. And then I want for that person to run out the door and then bring me that. I don't think I've ever wanted a food item this bad in my entire life, as you're describing this thing. I'm that not, you it's did. not even a bit. This is. I, I know. That's what I'm like. Why? Why are you being so real about this? <laughs> really, what? Then just go I to Panera, to, you weirdo. What is wrong with wait, you? Wait, I went to New York. There's, a, there's like no, 13 no. Paneras. I, I could throw a rock and hit like 13 <laughs> Paneras. There wasn't every single strip mall. I went to New York Bagel Company because I was like, oh, a cinnamon bagel, but they didn't have one like it, so I didn't get it. Wait, why did you go to the wrong bagel because place? Because it was the place. Closest, and I was, I was like, oh, I'm gonna grab, and I so I pulled in, and I was like, how's yeah, the cinnamon? They were like cinnamon raisin, and I was like, fuck you! Oh, whoa, this is cr- <laughs> okay. <laughs> whoa, somebody call the Cohen brothers. I have their next script. It's just Katie going through the valley trying to find the right cinnamon bagel. Anyway, so that's the news about. Why don't you just make Pan- yourself a cinnamon bagel? Listen. You're a baker. Brett. Wait, are bagels baked? No, they're boiled. Wait, they're baked. They're boiled first, boiled, and then, then they're boiled in lye, and then they're baked. Listen, Brett. Boiled in lye? Uh-huh, it's a lie. No, bath. no, that's Fight Club. <laughs> no, now you're doing Fight Club. Brett. What? <laughs> His name was Cinnamon Bagel. <laughs> don't try to there get are, me into no, your no, weird talk, Cinnamon Bagel cult. There is... In the <laughs> I heard you the first time. In the bagel, there's these little cinnamon I chips. I heard you. Brett, I ordered the cinnamon chips because they're a specialty food item. I ordered them online. Wait, what? I ordered the cinnamon chips and I haven't made the Panera b- a batch of bagels because I was like, oh, I could. that's part of the problem is, yes, I'm a baker. So I'm like, oh, I could bake those. I could make those and I could satisfy this craving for this very specific bagel. I looked up a bagel copycat recipe. I did like the whole thing. I ordered the specialty food. Nerd That's alert. part of the reason why it's been three weeks that I've had this freaking problem. Whoa. And so now, but then I'm like, now I'm going to make 12 bagels. Like who's going to eat these bagels? Nobody. Like, nobody. nobody. I'm the only person with this problem. So then I'm like, no, I should just go to the store and get one. And then I just don't because I should bake it. And then I should just buy it. And I don't know what to do. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> one, first of all, if you think about this bagel for longer than four hours, you should probably call a doctor. And honestly, it sounds like you should call a doctor. <laughs> just go to Panera. Dude, Dude, just go to Panera. It's not that big a deal. I don't want to. Then don't. I want the bagel. I don't understand. <sighs> this is a really big problem for me right now. This is a really big problem in my life I right now. Tell. You know, <sighs> other people have real problems. 
I, yeah, you know, you know what? Maybe, <laughs> maybe what you can do is is uh, be content with the fact that if this is your biggest problem, then. Well, yes, you most know, certainly. You're doing pretty good. Most certainly. Wow. However, the urge Man, is strong. I wish I had Katie LeClaire problems. The urge is strong. But I mean, that's, you know, that's one way to look at it, right? You're out of problems. Congratulations, Katie. You finally did it. Thanks. It's <laughs> been a long road wow, to get to here. Wow, what a great life. I really want that bagel. Oh my God, get the bagel. <laughs> I almost postmated it the other day, but then it was going to be like $17 Dude, for one effing bagel. I'm about to give out the address, and you're uh, going to get more cinnamon bagels than you've ever wanted in your entire life. There is no limit. <laughs> if I give out your address, you will get like two bagels. <laughs> so you better watch out. Those, listen, the seven people listening to this show right now, at least two of them will send a bagel. If you would send Katie a bagel, <laughs> text me the bagel emoji right now. I'll count them up oh, during the break. I want it so bad. If I get, if I get more, how much do you think that bagel costs? If I get more <laughs> listeners texting in the bagel emoji, then that bagel costs. I'll give out Katie's address. No, live on you the live. End. You yes. don't live here too. No, you work I, here, you know which what? means no. you practically I'll live I'll give here. out your address to the twelfth caller, just one person, and then we'll see what they do with it. I'll just hand it to one person. We'll see. I mean, if they leak it online, they leak it online. Oh my god! But think of all the cinnamon bagels. This is nightly. Turn them up. We'll be right back. Um, cinnamon bagel makes me think of, um, let's see, the cinnamon bagel makes me think of <laughs> when, uh, fall, uh, autumn time, um, uh, cinnamon, why, why does, it's like crunchy on the top, that's part of it. <laughs> Stop with the cinnamon bagel, that's enough. <clears throat> um, during the break, I got exactly. How many? I actually don't know. I can't get to the bottom oh. yet. It's a lot. Okay, so yeah, we got a lot. So I get to order one. Um. Well, I have to give out your address. I could just order it. Maybe I could just order it myself. No, actually, no. I think I'm supposed to give it out because actually, <laughs> you wouldn't believe the amount of texts that are like, "Do it. Give out the address. What's Katie's address?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. One person said, "I'm looking right. I'm, I already know the address." I'm looking right at her. Yeah, it was like, "Tell her, tell her, I'm looking right at her." Right well, now. tell that person to just bring us a bagel. Yeah. What What are you doing? Go to Panera, Come dude. Come on. Come on, creep. Figure it out. Mm-hmm. Um, you know how Starbucks has their holiday themed cups every year? Mm-hmm. They're not the only company this year. Whoa. Dunkin' Donuts. Is also rolling out. Oh, it's not called Dunkin' Donuts no, anymore. No, you're right. It's just Dunkin'. That's Duncan. not appropriate. It's just Dunkin'. <laughs> Strike that. Strike that from the record, please. Dunkin' has also has holiday cups this this year. They're just Dunkin'. Is that a guy's name? No, it's Dunkin'. D U N K I N apostrophe. Like what they do in NBA games. Dunkin'. Dunkin' what? We don't know. Dunkin' Donuts. That's not no. what it's called. Uh, Dunkin' what into coffee? They're not known for only coffee. No, it's just Dunkin'. We're Duncan now. Have you seen the commercials with Ben Affleck and Ice Spice? Yeah. So have I. Yeah. Um, the Stratosphere. <laughs> the the hotel, the Stratosphere. Yeah. yeah. Is just the Strat. What do you mean? They rebranded like Duncan. Oh. It's not the Stratosphere. <laughs> Correct. It's the Strat. That's because now in Vegas there's the Sphere. <gasps> I bet you the Sphere paid them to do that. Mm, maybe I don't know. Or I was happy when, happy when they did. I would have happy. Or maybe it happened in a very Vegas way, baby. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. I think it's funny when brands rebrand like that, though. You're like, you didn't have to do this. Like, I know. Okay, fine, but okay. Yeah, but it makes us this talk about them. Keep the same font. Mm -hmm. Um. <clears throat> anyway, so Duncan has holiday cups this year. The Strat. Uh, when I was in, when I was going to school in New York, the Strat was one of the dorms. Oh, uh-huh. That uh, the kids, one of the buildings that we could live in was, it was like the Stratford Arms, but we just called it the Strat. Uh -huh. And it was half a dorm and then half a, like, elderly living facility with, um, 
yeah, anyway, it, you didn't really want to be at the Strat <laughs> so, like that. It was kind of a, yeah, place that... It was a dive. It was, well, it just wasn't, I mean, you know. So every, so that's kind of funny. Like, I don't think I'd stay there in Vegas. Because of that? I'd be like, mm, nah. Funny. Um, <clears throat> The other corporation, because we're doing corporate news today. I'm going to stay at my dorm, the Venetian. Uh... <laughs> Or Aria. Ooh. Ooh. Um, the other corporation doing Christmas cups is KFC. Christmas buckets. Christmas buckets. Hell yeah. Sweet. I haven't ordered... I mean, when's the last time you saw the bucket from KFC? <sighs> In the wild. Oh, you better slow down. I'm going to have another moment. Like I did Whoa. Whoa okay, what about... What about... <laughs> you go get a bucket and... Oh. The cinnamon bagel. No, don't do this to me. Now, stop. We lightly toast the cinnamon bagel. Stop. Oh, stop. Get it nice and kind of crispy. Stop it. Warm. You're, I'm getting then too excited. Then you got excited. the fried chicken. It's kind of salty, greasy. Oh man. Chicken and waffles. Who? Give me chicken and a cinnamon bagel. Oh. Make a sandwich out of it a little bit. Ooh. Don't even. Don't some even honey, do this to me. Some butter. Some maybe hot some honey. Oh, spicy some maple, hot. Oh, some spicy. Oh man. Uh, Happy birthday to Katie! I can't. I didn't. I didn't expect this to happen. <laughs> now you got two. What's going on? It's <laughs> good stuff. I just really want that bagel, then, but I don't want to make it. Get it. Then just go get it. Stop whining about it. Just go get it already. <laughs> You're gonna have a check in with me next week. Hey, did you ever get that bagel? But I'm just like now made of bagels. <laughs> you know what sucks, Katie? What? Back in the day when our parents and their parents and back in the day, uh, when the places would come out with the commemorative whatever, you could keep it forever. Mm-hmm. My now sister it's just all paper has... buckets and paper cups. You can't get the Christmas. It, it's like why don't why don't they come out with the Christmas glass bucket that I can keep forever? That's kind of cool, and then I could find it like an antique shop thirty five years from now and go, True. oh, remember that? And it's like decorated kind of in some kind of way that makes me get the feels in some sort of not nah, just more junk for the landfill. Got a lot of that these days. Yeah, just more companies that hate Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> the landfill. Are the chicken guys gonna get in trouble for their Christmas cups, buckets? Starbucks always gets in trouble. Take one look at the bucket. <laughs> it could definitely be more Christmassy, don't you think? I'm just asking questions. Mm. It is red and green, but nary a Jesus to be found. When I'm eating chicken, I like to look at my Lord and Savior, don't you? Listen, I'm just asking questions. You've ruined the chicken for me. No. I no longer need the chicken. I just need the bagel. <laughs> Your Tucker Carlson ruined it for me. We'll be right back after a break from no one since I have no more sponsors. <laughs> Let us pray. <clears throat> I mean, we can't get a Bible verse on the bottom of the bucket. What is this world coming to? I'm just asking questions. No. What, what do they look like? Can I see? Mm-hmm. There's like a one with a wreath. Oh, Tucker's going to hate these. Giant. Bill oh, O'Reilly's going to hate these. I bet you this is the same bucket. I think it's, it's the same. It's just all one bucket. One, We're getting three yeah. different sides. There's Okay, they're going to hate these. There's a Ferris wheel. Mm-hmm. What's that got to do with Christmas? Nothing. Then there's a Christmas tree, but it's red. What is this? Russia? Well, actually, they might like this then. That was our show, everybody. Thanks so much for listening. Please remember to be kind and take care of each other. And then it just says, what does this say? Secret recipe, of, joy. Of joy. So it says joy. It doesn't say Merry Christmas. It doesn't. Good night, Tucker. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> All right, we'll see everybody tomorrow. <laughs> Say something funny. F- something funny. <laughs> That's it for the Brett Davern Show for today. Uh... 
But don't worry, they'll be back tomorrow, live, starting at 9 a.m. Pacific, noon Eastern, on Adobe Radio.